My name is Peter Bruninger. My name is Terry Arinci with AV Showrooms. And we're reporting on Reviewer's View from High End Munich. Yep. How was the show this year, Terry? Oh, it was great. It's always very good. But what makes it new is the you get to see new components, new, yep. new equipment. It's a very good show. It's probably the best in the world. It's certainly the biggest in That's the world. That's the biggest. It's yeah. the biggest. Well, I'm going to kick off. Uh, one of my favorite rooms was the Goebel room mm -hmm. with the Kronos turntable yeah. and the Kronos new photo stage. Oliver Goebel has fine-tuned his flagship loudspeaker. Uh, it just totally disappears. It's bending wave technology. So there, it looks like almost a flat computer screen. Uh, it doesn't look like a regular right loudspeaker. Right in the middle of the loudspeaker. Right yeah. in the middle of the loudspeaker. Beautiful. Wait till you see that video. And it's, what finish. It's beautiful. Oh, my oh, gosh. The fit and finish is off the charts. And Louis Desjardins' Kronos turntable, power supply, and mm -hmm. new phone stage and stand. It was just a sight to behold. It was so beautiful. And then when he turned it on, whoa, whoa needle drop, whoa. ecstasy. Excellent. <laughs> well put. Uh, how about another room? Uh, how about Audio Union? I really like that room. I like much. that room too. And what the Thrax is part of the Audio Union, and they have a loudspeaker, the Lyra, with a basso unit, the bass unit. Mm -hmm. uh, they built a cradle on top of the bass unit this year to fit the top yeah. Lyra unit, and it really looks as if it's made from the same cloth. And it sounded fantastic. Mm -hmm. yeah. And we had David Level Cable from yes. Ancline in the room. And what was the big surprise? The Doman Helix 2 turntable. Mark Doman has come out with a more affordable turntable, uh, priced at approximately $25,000. Uh, it's a, it's a one-box solution, doesn't have separate power supply. And mm -hmm. I really like it because it doesn't have as much give and take as the Helix 1, so it gives you more confidence if you're not an expert in picking up the needle or putting a record on. It doesn't bottom out like the big turntable mm -hmm. does, but the big turntable is made for experts, so you know yeah. experts can deal with it. Mm -hmm. um, let me give you another room. Um, the Rido room. Yeah, very good. They had the D5.1s. Yep. They're big flagship speakers. Yep. They were perfect size for that room. You know, per beautiful sound from the minute I walked in. Right size. Now behind us we have yeah. the D4.1s and we have an average size listening room. Yeah, so these fit here. These fit, fit here. There. <laughs> those fit there. So <laughs> we would have to have double the ceiling. Yeah. To fit, oh, well, yeah. not quite. To fit the D5. Much higher ceilings, yeah. But a much taller ceiling. And of course, they have their own cabling the ANSUS DTC. Yeah, DTC level and cable. The, the AVIC electronics. The, yeah. The monoblocks, I think, right? Yeah, monoblocks yeah. this year. Yeah, and it just was huge. It, mean, it was punchy and big. Mm -hmm. And it was just an outstanding sound. Yeah, yeah. Yep. They really got it together, these guys. Yep. It gets better and better. And yep, better. every year, better and mm -hmm. better. Another room, Tara. Oh, uh, Nagra? Yep, Nagra. With the Wilson. Nagra with the Wilson, and I'll tell you, the Wilsons were in like Fire Engine Red. They were gorgeous looking. Mm -hmm. We played a track off of Chasing the Dragon. Mm -hmm. We'd like to play that cello track. It's a cello in the church. Yeah, and the cello was in the room. Yeah. I mean, it was immediate. I knew right away. Winning room. And then we've gotten reports from the internet back that this is one of the best sounding rooms at the show. Well, there's a reason why. Uh, they had the HD electronics from Nagra. That's correct. And they had the whole system was classic Nagra uh, along with the HD and the Wilson speakers. I mean, they just went together like this. I mean, it was just a perfect. And the Kronos. Perfect. Power, and the Kronos turntable and power supply. Which is the SCPS. One. That's right, which stands for Super Capacitor Power Supply. And that was uh, with the Kronos turntable. And that was just yeah. an outstanding room. Gold Show winner. Yep. 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 Very, very good. Yep. And I've got another room for you. Mm -hmm. I call it the Blue Room. Yeah, the back room. <laughs> yeah. Back but, and Von Schweigert room. Yeah. You walk into the room, and they had the mood lit set. So what we did with the camera was we did a walk around because we did not want to disrupt the demonstrations mm -hmm. and have Is them it? put on fluorescent lights and the, it just it, it was a, just a big big beautiful sound yeah, nice. yeah from the big von Schweikerts uh, mm -hmm. that we saw at Expona that we'll see in Los Angeles uh, within several days uh, Senzati cables and the big vac uh, beautiful statement tube amplifiers I mean these tube amplifiers are to die for they actually move back and forth 
when you touch them yeah. because they have a, a elasticity built into the suspension of the amplifier. But in LA, they're going to have their own cables. Yep, yep. They're yep. not going to have this inside. No, it's going to be a little bit different. It's going to be exactly the same setup as we had at Expona. Mm hmm. That was a big winner. And that was a big, big room. How about that room? Oh, uh, Audio Net. Audio Ooh, Net. That, that was a, a big deal this year. Huge deal. It was a ball out of the park for the Heisenberg and the Stern. The Stern is the preamplifier, the Heisenberg is the, the amplifier. amplifier. Yes. Yep. They were driving um, Gallagher speakers. The Berliners. The That's correct. Berliners. That's yes. right. That's right. And the sound was, it, the room melted away. And what you'll see in that video, which really got me, was we got lucky. We shot the video when the rooms beside it were quiet. So you, because yeah, there's always bleed it. through at the MOC, they, that's the Munich Order Center where they hold the show. So they, it's a fantastic video. You really do get to hear the music. We uh, we played uh, Equinox, which is a recording that we'll use, but it has a lot of drums and tablet in yeah. it. It's like bang you right there. Oh, we've all, we also yeah. heard, I think, Eddie James, Thomas Gessel played for us, and the female vocals yeah. were just off the charts. Off the charts, it's off that the charts. Audio net magic. Only a lot bigger. Yeah, a lot, lot bigger. A lot what, bigger. What can I say? Yeah, what can you say? I mean, you're talking reference level equipment of uh, the industrial designer Hartman Esslinger, who designed uh, the Macintosh computer. So, hey, lineage is there. How can you go wrong? How can you go wrong? Peter, you pick one. Okay. Uh, Triode Corporation of Japan, mm. uh, Acoustic Zen Crescendo loudspeakers. Correct. And as I'm looking around the room, I'm going, I know that cable. That's Synergistic Research Atmosphere Level 4, which we have sitting right over here. Hey, I know that. That's the black box mm -hmm. from Synergistic Research. And I then realized that the room was also shared by Synergistic. Yes. So there was a lot of magic to that room uh, between Triode Corporate Japan, Acoustic Zen, Synergistic, and a, a number really of other nice. brands. It was a really good room, yeah. real good room. Give me another room, Terry. The Aries Surat. Ari Surratt. Now, Ari Surratt, uh, this is a speaker that we found two years ago at CES. It's a uh, horn loudspeaker. It has the horns off to the side of the speaker. It's a fairly large format speaker. It was in an intimate room. And uh, we were going through the playlist on their server, and we found Blue Mind, uh, September in Montreal by Ambassant. And she yeah. was in the room. I mean, she was she was right there. She was right there. I'm not kidding. There. And I'm those kiosks kidding. have a lot of noise outside. It's not like the bleed bleed through in the big rooms, but there's still all that noise outside, which mm -hmm. I, I think is even better than the big rooms in some ways. Mm -hmm. But this was just outstanding. I was not distracted at all by the noise outside. And that's saying something. No, that is saying something. They also had the Telerium Q. They had the Viger turntable. Perfect, delicate. Yeah, yeah. In they, detail. Yep. They with, had with the all the warmth to move you in yep. that song. Yep, agreed. And they also had the Evo 432 yeah, server. That's right. It was an extraordinary room for sound this year. Okay, I got one for you. The room with the wooden speakers. The trees. <laughs> It wasn't just wooden. They were tr actual tree trunks. Actual with, tree trunks. With, um, uh, what's it, uh, German physics insides. Well, the one pair did, yeah. yeah. It was the like, one we listened to. Yeah, yeah Franken tree, I call it. <laughs> Wait till you see the video. It's a, I don't know what to say. It uh, sounded so damn good. It sounded it. so good. It's and so they, go figure. they took a tree trunk and you know, you know, fifteen feet of it, cut it in half, and made two loudspeakers out of it. Put the German physics drivers in the top, yeah. and then they had. You could tell there was one port in the front. So German physics usually has a surround sound for the lower frequencies, but this was a hybrid, and uh, it was awesome. They played a, we played a track of some um, oh very interesting Asian uh, music, uh, finger plucking music. Oh yeah. And then we played some uh, really good bass track, so a uh, bass, uh, and you wait to hear it. I mean, yeah, it's good. It's real good. I mean, it's, I don't even know what else was in the room because I was amazed. We were just amazed by staring <laughs> at the trees. Talk about tails in the treetops. But they, got, they got our attention, so that's good. <laughs> they sure did. And I want to shout out to Audio Hungry. Mm -hmm. That was a nice room. A nice tube mm -hmm. amplifier, mm -hmm. electronic equipment. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'd like to have stayed a little longer in that room and, and gave it a, a, more of a whirl, but mm -hmm. fortunately we have limited time. Yeah, we do. Well, 
to our favorite part of the video and reviewers view, what would you take home Ooh. from high end 2017? And while you're thinking about Ooh. that, I'm going to throw mine out. Okay. I want to take home the Heisenberg and the Stern. Oh, goodness, yeah. I mean, I just want to listen to them on my system here. I want to listen to them on the system upstairs. I want to see them on whatever speaker system we have. Uh, we have in the garage. Coming in next, we have the big gamuts. We have the Zodiacs, and they're made for Terry. They're a pair of Leos. So that would be a fascinating combination as well. Yeah, it would. So that's my take-home for high-end 2017, and I'm going to pass it over to you for take-home for you. Can I take a room home? Well, we're, they seem to be uh, taking rooms home now. So we used to just take products home, but now we need a whole shipping container for our take-home. So what room would that be? Ari Surratt. There you go. Yep. What can you say? What can you say? It was so believable, so realistic, and so beautiful looking, the amplifiers, the preamplifiers, the loudspeakers, mm -hmm. all the equipment in that room, together as a whole, really brought Anne to life. Yeah, yeah. Yep. I'll never forget it. Yep. Well, that's Reviewer's View for High End 2017. Uh, we'll be seeing you very soon in Los Angeles. Uh, the videos are going to be trending uh, within a week. So, until the next show, and happy listening. <laughs> Peter Hi. and Terry reporting again from AB Showrooms.